Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm going to be doing something different and I'm going to be doing a little voiceover of my trip to LA with my best friend Zyra. It was a quick little five day trip but I didn't get to film much of it because there were a lot of people around and I didn't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. So here we are. So the first day I arrived around 8pm and we honestly didn't do much. All my footage is pretty random but I guess that's an accurate representation of the trip itself, so yeah. That was day one. Day two was St. Patrick's Day. We went to breakfast at Blue Jam Cafe and I got the vegan Tex-Mix tofu hash and it was so good, oh my gosh. This was probably my favorite meal of the trip. It was like an explosion of flavors in my mouth. And we also got this French toast to share, which was also very good. It was crunchy, and then when you poured the little icing thing on top, talk about texture. 11 out of 10 would recommend this place. Um, then we stopped by this cake monkey place to get some dessert for their grandma's birthday. We also got coffee here, and it was surprisingly really good since I wasn't expecting anything from a cake shop. Um, and then... After that, we hung out at the Airbnb and then we did some shopping at the Beverly Center and as you'd expect, there were mostly high-end brands here, but they had this one floor with the affordable brands that we stopped by that was like H&M, Forever 21, and Uniqlo. We got dinner at the Grove since our Airbnb was like a 12-minute walk away. I went to this Singaporean place called Banana Leaf at the farmer's market and I got the fried rice, but I didn't really like it, so I didn't film it. <laughs> I guess I just don't enjoy Singaporean food as much as other foods. And then that night we went to two bars near our place. The first one was called Blue Collar. It was very um, LA. They were like, we don't have a menu, so just tell us what you want and we'll make something out of it. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know why I'm making that voice, but yeah, not gonna lie, they served quality drinks and that was reflected in the price, of course. And then after spending too much money at the last place, we stopped by an Irish pub. It was called Molly Malone's and that place was very, um, what you'd expect from an Irish pub on St. Patrick's Day. And then we ended the night grabbing some necessities at CVS. Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog. I'm here in LA right now. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm just here for the weekend for like five days. Okay, I guess it's five days and not the weekend, but today's only our second full day here and I haven't been talking to the camera because it's just so awkward to film. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do today, but so far it's been good. The food has been good. It's just been pretty expensive, like almost the same price as Seattle, but I guess life is just expensive these days. So yeah, I'll take you along to wherever we're going today and let's get back to the video. On day three, we went to Universal City Walk. It was a fun place to walk around and do some shopping. You don't have to pay the universal entrance fee and all we had to pay for was parking which was i think about twenty dollars on a saturday and yeah just walked around here for a bit and then for lunch we ate at pink's hot dog which i've never had before i got the veggie dog and i think it was by the impossible meat brand and it was actually really good after a lot of chaos during the day Charmaine's boyfriend treated us to dinner at this Japanese restaurant called Sake House Miro. We ordered a lot of alcohol and food, as you can see. They had a dedicated veggie menu, which I appreciate when restaurants do that, and I ended up getting the vegan ramen since I was craving some comfort food. Day four, I didn't film anything on Sunday because um, I think this was her mom's marathon race. And yeah, we really didn't do anything that day. Day five was our last full day. It was pretty much cold, rainy, and gloomy the entire trip, but we made the most of it. Um, we kept the last day pretty low key and did some light shopping and just ate. For dinner, we ate at the farmer's market again, but this time at a pasta place that was recommended to us by our Uber driver. I got the pasta with the eggplant. I forgot what it's called, but I think it was the only eggplant dish there. And it was so good. I know I keep saying that about all these places, but honestly, Seattle food sucks and anywhere else is really, I'm always amazed. <laughs> 
The pasta was really fresh and tasted pretty clean. I'm a little sad that I didn't film as much as I wanted to. I don't get to see my best friend that often because she lives on the opposite side of the earth, but we don't need to do much when we do see each other, and I'm grateful that I got to spend at least a few days with her. We ended the trip by having a pickle flight, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.